University student seriously hurt trying to return to Oregon on an Amtrak train is speaking for the first time on Coin 6. This has been such a mystery. The family of Aaron Salazar says that Amtrak originally tried to suggest that he may have tried to jump, but Salazar is saying otherwise. Our Jennifer Dowling talked to the family and has more now from Aaron himself. That's right. This is the first time we're hearing from Aaron, and he's telling us in his own words that he would not have tried to kill himself by jumping from that train. Back in May, Aaron was found in Truckee, California, on the side of the railroad tracks, unconscious. He was trying to return to Portland State University from a trip to Denver. When Aaron was found, he had burns to his lower body, and his cousin said medical experts told them after he was examined that it appeared as if he were beaten. Sonia Trujillo says that Amtrak investigators initially told the family it looked like an apparent suicide. She says now that Aaron is able to speak for himself, he's contradicting those statements. I did not jump off the train. I never, ever tried to kill myself. Aaron is speaking and saying, I did not jump. I would never try to kill myself. Amtrak needs to do their work and figure out what is going on. Some Oregon lawmakers and legislators in Hawaii, where Aaron attended high school, are requesting more information from Amtrak. This letter to the president and CEO of Amtrak states, We expect that Amtrak will conduct a thorough investigation and provide us and the Salazar family with a comprehensive and timely report of events leading up to his injuries. Amtrak released this statement in response to our request for more information, saying we are glad Aaron is improving and we look forward to talking with him and any other witnesses as part of the investigation. Now, Aaron is still receiving treatment treatment in Denver, according to his family. They say right now he's concentrating on learning to walk again. They set up a GoFundMe account to help make his home handicap accessible. Back to you. Our thoughts are certainly with him. Thank you, Jennifer.